Okay, you want to install DOS from a CD? Well, you can forget about that built-in setup program that comes with the floppy disk because it's stubborn. You, you gotta install the old school way. Since the files are compressed, you'll have to install MS-DOS from floppies first and copy your installation to a folder and to this computer to work with them. The easy way to do it is to make a 20 megabyte hard disk image with BX image and install DOS on there with DOSBox. Copy the original config file and rename it, then Create a shortcut to use that config file. Add auto exec lines to mount the hard disk and install floppies. Open DOS box. Oh, oh, what? Uh, I uh, guess you gotta open it again. Haha. <laughs> I installed and switched between floppies with control plus F4. Thanks, Transmission Zero, for these DOS box instructions. Use WinImage or some other disk image explorer to copy autoexec.bat, config.sys, and win 820.386 from the root directory, as well as the entire DOS directory. Now that's done cool. Now create a new batch file called install.bat. Make sure file extensions aren't hidden. Pause the video and type what you see on the screen here into your script. Now here's where this old school installation gets better. You can customize the installation procedure to your liking. Maybe preload additional programs or generic drivers. I'll copy the QMouse folder and add a few lines to the script so they can copy the QMouse folder. Edit autoexec.bat and config.sys. Make sure you got yourself a CD-ROM driver to load in the DOS directory. I don't care which one you got, just load one in there that works with your hardware. Now you need Win image and a DOS boot image. Open that and inject install.bat and shutdown.com into the image. Open image burn and start creating an ISO from files and folders. Make sure the file system is ISO 9660 mode 1. Make your ISO buttable with 1.44 meg floppy emulation and select the floppy image you modified. Copy autoexact.bat config.sys at win820.386 to the root of the ISO. Then copy your DOS photos and whatever other photos you got. Windows for a workgroup 3.11 is pretty good, I think. Build the ISO, pop it a black CD, burn it, and you're done. Ready to 1995 computing in the fast deployment? Get the CD, put it in, make sure you can boot the CD. Type install, ready to go. Press the key, take CD out, go to the DOS. Commission in seconds. For the best 1995 computing of 1995, put the, put the CD back in. Load the Windows for work group 3 from 11 steps. Get it to load, do the stuff, learn the basics. Start the computer over and now type win, cause you're a winner. Awesome, well done, you are the victory. Go forward to 1995 computing, excellent work.